Giraffe Manor employs over 65 people, three for every guest to serve their every whim. Five chefs, five porters, 11 waiters, four drivers and four gardeners. It's a tight team. And duty manager Tony Levy has the job of keeping everyone on track, whether staff, guests or giraffe. So the biggest challenges I face as duty manager is probably guest expectations. You'll have realised that at 140 acres here, we have 10 giraffes on site. I have to manage unpredictable giraffe movements in the sense that the giraffe refuses to show up. This way, please. Up to you. I have to manage the guests between checkout and check-in time, trying to get rooms ready. Just constant moving. This way, please. It's 8 a.m. and Laura and Emmanuel are arriving on the first day of their honeymoon. We spent probably twice as much on the honeymoon as we did on the actual wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and to know that tomorrow morning we can wake up and be feeding a giraffe out of the bedroom window mm. is really cool. I'm going to feel like I haven't woken up. It's going to feel like a dream. Mm. Despite the charms of the giraffe, Laura and Emmanuel are only staying here for it's one night. Yeah, like most guests, not they're using to... the manor as a staging post on their way to other parts of Kenya. This means the manor's nine housekeepers face a pressurised changeover of rooms every 24 hours. I'm joining head housekeeper Pamela on her morning rounds. She and her team usually have between 45 minutes and an hour to turn over all 10 rooms. Pamela is one of the longest serving members of staff. At 64, she's been making beds here for the last 17 years. Oh, I love the feel of clean sheets. <laughs> Aside from the mess caused by guests, Pamela has to deal with long-necked intruders. Does this stay down here? It will stay. We will put it on the... Do bed. they just yes. come and stick their heads in? Yeah. No, when, the, when we shake the bucket, oh. the giraffes will come okay. and then you'll take one by one. Okay. Do the... they make a mess for you? When yeah, you when to... there's nobody around and the window is open, if they come here near, they'll push the bucket and then <laughs> down. <That was> cool. <laughs> to yeah. give you, yeah. give you a bit of a headache. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a certain time when you have to have it all finished? By 12. They'll be checking in at 13. At 1 o'clock? Yes, okay. please. If you can show me a quicker way, I'll show okay. you my way. Fine. That's going to be a simpler way to... <laughs> it's like a Zumba class. <laughs> <laughs> Look how strong you are. As a single mother, oh, Giraffe Manners had a big impact on Pamela's family life. One of her children works here too. Working at Giraffe Manor, I have used my money in bringing up my children paying the education for high school, for four of them, and in college. Do you have enough to cover the mattress? At the moment, I'm now saving for a piece of small land. Then I build there my house, <laughs> which I'll call my home. That looks pretty good to me. I'd sleep in it. One of the oldest buildings in suburban Nairobi, Giraffe Manor was built in 1932 when Kenya was still a colony of the British Empire. The most surprising thing is how suburban it feels. You're sort of prepared for something sort of wild and obviously it looks like African savannah, but it feels like Surrey with giraffes. There is this desire to recreate something that looks like suburban England. Something sort of normal and kind of golf clubby. It's just that they're giraffes. Uh, and I guess that's Africa as imagined by English people. But what are the challenges of running this historic hotel? So this is the dining room. Wow. Which has absolutely no electricity or candlelit. So you're offering people a nostalgic return to a simpler way of living. Is that one of the things that people are De looking for? Definitely. People are definitely looking for a time in a simpler environment, I think. With Wi-Fi? With Wi-Fi. So you provide that for them and that freedom and that return and that nostalgia. But do they have other expectations of home comfort? Food, accommodation. I mean, this house, we really struggle because a lot of, you know, a lot of certainly the plumbing is uh, archaic. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's nearly 100 years old and it's archaic. African. Yeah. And yes, and, and, and then you're dealing with, you know, what's available on the market, which isn't what's available in London or New York. But... Uh, but I think generally people are quite forgiving, thankfully, to us because we've got giraffes. 